Mayu Watani, a superstar, the stardom icon, my favorite wrestler in stardom, the brightest apple, this, this genius here, this Picasso of paintings in the ring, this goat used her brain, I mean. I'm brain. I mean, this is chicken. Yeah, yeah, her chicken to come up with a match. She came up with a match idea. Hey guys, I wrote a song. You know what? I'm going to put it right here. Right on the refrigerator. Who's ready for story time with Mia Cat? Oh, so first, she leaps to the mic before anyone else can grab it, and all the other women are like, Mayu wants to pitch her idea though, except she rambles on and on and on, and then, idea time. Mayu, like, I'm such a genius! The Naniwa roulette! <laughs> to golf claps. The match goes as follows. A roulette determines their opponents, and then they have a match and that lasts like um, five minutes, and then they must win by pin, submission, and oh yeah, okay, and like over the top, right? Yeah, okay, over the top. And if they don't, they both lose, and then the roulette spins for new opponents, and the winner gets a title match of their choice. Good job, Mayu. Utami like. Shiri doesn't get it though, and neither does anyone else, so they want her to explain it again. But Mayu is like, look, I said the idea. I said it. What don't you understand, stupid? So Shiri, with the worst luck ever, says she has plans already, and Utami is like, so that's dumb. Let's do something else. So they try to pawn the match on Micah, but she's quickly like, no, 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 no. Mayu like, she angry. Mayu angry. So the match begins. The roulette determines the first opponent, and it's Mayu Iwatani, the inventor of the match. What bad luck. She didn't have time to even put on her coat and mask. <laughs> she invented this match to give her the best chance to gamble for a title shot and is out first. What bad luck indeed. Oh, Mayu. You have a whole gauntlet to go through. She has to win every match, and her opponent is... Oh, it's Waka. Mayu got a freebie. Waka tries her best, and Mayu even takes a bump like... But she still loses super easy. I mean, it's Waka. Next, on the roulette, is Momokogo. Currently on her second arc on her anime story. She wants to win to challenge the high speed belt and then the goddess belts with Mayu, but doesn't understand the rules of the match, but understands one thing. The floor is lava. Komomo knows that she can't beat Mayu in the ring, so challenges Mayu to gamble outside and fight on the ropes. Mayu don't want to, but the newly able to cheer crowd boos Mayu. Peer pressure. She has to now. And off they go, fighting back and forth. Mayu with the most badass kick misses. Momo in the ring to the ropes. Mayu with a dodge roll runs the ropes, but Momo takes Mayu over. Tiger faint kick. No. Bottom rope version. And Mayu. Mayu like. Again, Momo to the ropes, but Mayu takes her and Momo barely survives. In the ring, and a missile drop kick. Now, Momo has to wrestle Mayu, and she gives her best effort, but Mayu tired of her games, and she just makes her tap with a Shuri style stretch muffler move I don't ever remember her doing, and making her tap for time can run out. Next, on the roulette. Oh, it's Kevin. Kevin gonna eat ya, Mayu. And off she goes. Vicious sociopathic killer here. But she falls for Mayu's tricks like everyone does. Kevin trying for the speed run skips. And now the vicious strikes. The strikes. And a Kevin DDT. And Mayu just spikes her head. Jesus, Mayu. She responds with a super kick and makes Kevin tap with a really awesome dragon sleeper. Exhausted Mayu's next spin on the roulette is... Oh, it's the stardom dream. The leader of cosmic angels. The top kawaii of the cosmos. Mayu not happy with this. She got work to do now. And, oh hi Tam. Tam is used to the five minute matches. So off they explode. They freaking explode. And Tam knows Mayu so well that she dodges that move no one ever counters. The cutest in the world. She gonna fly. But oh no. Walk alike. Don't do that. You're gonna lose. Don't do that. Tam doesn't know the rules. It was so confusing. Mayu takes advantage and whoa. 
No, Mayu gonna kill Tam, but no, Tam gonna kill Mayu. No, kick to the face, and Mayu lives. Frankensteiner down, and then a dragon suplex attempt, but no, spin kick to the face, but super kick responds. Both are down, and Tam like. So now Tam challenges like, and Mayu like. And now, a slap off, a slap off. Violet screwdriver, no, vicious suplex, but second phase knocking out with a German, but zombie my rises and equal kicks to the head. Now, they're fighting, they're fighting. Time is running out too. Tam, desperate, Mayu, desperate, hits the suplex, but Tam kicks out right as the bell rings. They both lose. Mayu lost her own match. But the roulette is vicious, and it moves already. Oh, it's a cruel roulette indeed, because it's Mina Shirakawa. But we could have had Mina versus Tam, and interesting interactions. I love Mina's new white girl dance she added to her entrance. <laughs> her opponent is... Oh, it's Poi. Poi versus Mina too. And immediately, Mina goes for the knee. The knee. Poi with the kick, Poi. And then she goes to die, Poi. But Tam like, yo, you can't do that. And Poi didn't immediately rule Poi because she can't read and doesn't know how many minutes are in 100 seconds. God damn it, Poi. So Mina beats her up and DTs her down. Poi with the comeback, but strong style Mina Shirakawa counters with a combo on Poi. A calm Poi. But Poi tries to steal Poi and the cradle and Poi and Poi and Poi they go. But Mina kicks out. Rolling elbow, but Poi absorbs and hits a Brock Boy. Up top for the Ferio gift, but Poi misses. And Mina with the figure four on Poi. But Poi too close to the rope boy. But Mina Tanahashi refuses to let the knee go and locks back in the figure four. Poi tries to crawl Poi for the rope break Poi. But Mina too heavy and Poi too small Poi to crawl Poi. And she's gonna tap Poi but no Poi. Time limit draw Poi. God damn it Poi. The second one in a row? Rossi. Both are eliminated and here comes the biggest villain of Japanese live stream events. Copyrighted music. Mariah May out to Sophie, which makes her better than initial reactions. And here comes her opponent, the legendary Sith warrior of the cosmos, the fighter of DDM with her fists of frenzy, and armed with her new calves of the crucible. My Sakurai. Mariah May at 5'8 is basically her mecha, and she's far more athletic than you'd think. In fact, Mariah May is far better than my initial impression, something I'm sure she's heard her entire life. Yeah, she has very in-your-face assets, which explains how Rossi found her, but she has potential. And my Sakurai, with her deadly submission arts taught from the ancient shamans, or her Megaton shotgun drop pick, holy shit but a tombstone ends my Sakurai's efforts because it would take the legendary move of a dead man to end the legendary run of one future final boss, my nine point Sakurai. Roulette spins and out comes the toxic spider, the claw, coming out looking at the fresh new white girl like. And she quickly does spider things like the spear. Two kicks miss and Thecla smiles cause she's gonna have fun with this tall girl and trap her in a web. But Mariah with dexterity and strength but Thecla punishes her on the ropes but eventually she takes Mariah over the top but no, both on the apron. Thecla kicks Mariah off but she grabs the leg and they both tumble and wait, what? <sighs> That's three now, Rossi. That's gotta be a world record. <laughs> Alrighty then, what's next, Wheel? Wheel? What's the Wheel doing? <laughs> Here comes Natsuko Tora, leader of a widow tie, followed by, oh my god, yes, it's her, it's Momoka Hanazono, look how cute she is, with her flower, and the bubbles, and that face, that face, she goes right after Natsuko with the flower, the flower to the head, trying to inflict poison status, but Natsuko with the pipe, oh no, but Hanazono with the bubble, Duck one, duck two, and wait, bonk. <laughs> 
Oh no, now they trade, and Natsuko is like, and Hanazono is calling her cute, and now the crowd is calling Natsuko Tora cute, and Natsuko like, I'm cute? And oh, a trick for Momoka. She misses, and oh, she hurts her hands. And oh, Natsuko clobbers her with the bubbles. Senton misses, and Hanazono like, how cute. But Tora tired of her tricks. But Momoka with the May jump, and another trick to knock her down. She's so Looney Tunes. Tora on the apron and Hanazono trying to knock her down but ends up making fun of her and that triggers Natsuko to kill and kill her she does but oh no Hanazono hanging on <laughs> Tora with the fireman's carry to end her but oh no surprise and they both tumble off that's a win for Hanazono as far as I'm concerned but really Rossi four in a row God, that's gotta be a world record for sure and now comes the special mystery surprise guest of the roulette wheel because apparently there's supposed to be one in my ears confusing match. And wait, that music. That's Vorak. Oh my god, it's Walter. Walter! Ring Comp is here. And oh, no, it's Gokujin Dev. No, Billiken Dev. Oh my god, she's got another form. She has way more than Mick Foley. Two more entrants left. Who's the wheel going to choose? Aw, Unimizumori! Unimon! The Pineapple Fairy Monster! The Tropical Lady! Former graduate of Choco Pro Wrestling and a wonderful addition to any starter match. And death all like, death, death, death! By the way, a Billiken is this statue invented by an American in Missouri. And oh no, Billiken death with the ultimate attack! Run, Unimon! She does, but death offering the feet. Not the feet, not for free. And Unimon takes the bait, and death with the Mickey James. Yuna with some Choco Pro love, but death with the roll ups quickly end the tropical lady. Death with one final opponent, and she will have a title shot of her choice. And oh my god, the wheel is going insane! What? Oh. The wheel has ideas of its own, it's self-aware, oh my god, it's choosing its own opponent, and yes, yes, it's her, she is her, even the stardom gods know, the little demon of evil cuteness, the master of a thousand pens, my emblem, Saki Kashima, the last entrant in my ease made up match, in the final round of this gamba. Kashima knows that this isn't her Oedo Tai running mate, so she, yeah, she tries to trick the clown. Will it work? Oh, she tries, but Def stomps and roll up. No, but Def tries her ultimate attack, but Kashima knows her tricks, but apparently not. Now Def, with the brain busters that she never hits, but with the newly freed vocals of the crowd, they chant her will into a brain buster. She hits it. Saki's dead. She's dead. And she kicks out. What a warrior. What lion spirit from my emblem. And Death taking a million years to jump off the ropes. So Kashima with a shoryuken and a double stomp. Strong style Kashima with the kick, death with the roll up attempt, but Kashima rolls through and a super powerful chop. And the Kishi Kaisei for the one, two, three. Kashima did it. She won Mayu's made up match, which is hilarious on its own right and has earned a title shot of her choice. And you best believe she earned it, doing absolutely the bare minimum and just vibing into a title match is a total Saki Kashima thing to do, and I'm always for it. And oh, she challenges for the high speed belt. Kashima does have the world record on Mayu percent at 17 seconds and the Azumi percent world record at 44 seconds. Saki Kashima is awesome. Also a speedrunner, she just rather vibe. What a stupid, stupid, stupid match. But it's fine because it ends on the victory of this purloiner of hearts and souls. This future high speed champion with skipped straight out of a mock runner. And to think, if she does hold the high speed, it's off of a match Mayu invented for herself to win. Saki Kashima, world record any percent speedrunning emblem of mobile rhythm games and the best of her name.